this is Vinayak Mathur from VM Graphic Solutions and welcome back to the tutorials for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video I'll be showing you how to import media into Adobe Premiere. So let's get started. Let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Till the time Adobe Premiere loads, I'd like to put your attention to my channel. This is my channel url youtube.com slash c slash mathur 1996 you can also search on youtube vinayak mathur and the first link is mine and uh, in this channel you will find all the tutorials all the videos and other cool stuff so i'll request you guys to subscribe to my channel so that all the new videos coming up come directly to your mailbox without you manually having a headache to search for it so please do subscribe for my channel by hitting this red button which would be visible for you obviously it won't be visible for me because this is my own channel so anyway let's come back to Adobe Premiere Pro this is the startup screen as discussed in the earlier tutorial so I'll create a I've already created a project in the last video so let's open it So this was the workspace I was dealing with in the last video. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll put the link in the description below. Do check that video because without understanding the basic user interface, it would be very difficult for you to move on. So anyway, coming back. In this, this is the project panel, which will be used for importing media, whether it's audio, text files, uh, Photoshop file, After Effects compositions, sequence, uh, sorry, audio files from Audition, any, anything and everything which you require in editing, creating a video, etc., will be pushed in into the project panel. Before I start with how to import into project panel, there is also another option for media browser where you can actually import by just selecting the drives and going into the folders and selecting a video file and then double clicking it to import what this will do is this will just create an instance of the original file into the projects panel will use it will use directly from the source of the file so supposedly if you had a hard disk on which you had all these files and you imported it using the media browser Every time you edit, you'll have to connect the hard disk or SSD or whatever storage media you're using. So it's a better idea if you are using something like hard disk, SSD, external drives to use project panel or otherwise the other option is to use Adobe Prelude, which is a software which is quite helpful in ingesting videos from one source or one hard drive into the local computer system anyway like, coming back to how to import media file there are a couple of me first is by right click select import choose your videos i can go over here and select uh, auto expo 2016 and I had worked in Auto Expo 2016 by the way and uh, let's okay so suppose if I click on this video and he'll say, uh, select open it would import show import files and my video is imported other option is I can just double click and select this directory or the source from where you want to pick up the video image or whatever select the video click open and again the same import option and the video is Im imported other option is press ctrl or command with windows and mac respectively with icon i uh, button i so press ctrl command i ctrl and command to be used interchangeably and select the Suppose I want to import this image, click on the image, click open and this will import your file. So this is how 
ये इम्पोर्ट फाइल्स इन टू एडोबी प्रीमियम प्रो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई बी टॉकिंग हाउ टू पुट दिस इन टू अ टाइम लाइन एंड स्टार्ट एडिटिंग द वीडियो सो टिल देन जस्ट प्रैक्टिस हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट फाइल्स इन टू एडो प्रीमियम प्रो एंड आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम If you like this video hit the like button if you dislike it click the dislike button and uh, for more videos just hit the red button under my channel name which says subscribe and you will get all the videos in your subscription list and you don't want to search for them manually thank you bye bye